Hello Capricorn, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of November 2019 Career and Finance, Love and Romance, Spiritual Guidance Reading. Hmm, interesting Capricorn. Right away the Seven of Cups jumped out. Now the Seven of Cups energy is about fantasy and illusion a lot of the time, needing to kind of get a little bit clear about what is next. It's a good time to take all of these thoughts and put your energy into the creation of something in the second half of November 2019. Capricorn. Sun, moon, arising, male or female. So I'm being guided to use the Tarot of Dreams deck by Chiro Marsetti and to just lay two cards. I'm going to split the deck in half. And in, and the first card will represent mid-November 2019. And the second card will represent the end of November 2019. And we'll figure out everything in between. So dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless this Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, with clearly defined messages regarding the second half of November 2019. Okay. Wow. So we started out with confusion and thank goodness they're sending you the high priestess as a major arcana. Pray to spirit and spirit will give you the signs and synchronicities you need, especially by mid-November 2019. And you're being asked to use another major arcana energy, the hanging man. Okay, so this is about stopping and looking at something from every perspective before making a final decision. Waiting on signs and synchronicities until some form of truth or communication comes your way. Was there or there may be, for whichever Capricorn I'm reading for, during this general reading, some form of passionate communication or connection with someone via text, talk, tweet, etc., and you instantly go into the Nine of Swords energies of, I'm getting the heck out of here. Hmm. I don't know if this is a blind date and you're waiting and the High Priestess is going to be guiding you and saying, think things through. Not a time for a quick decision. It's time to kind of observe and look and contemplate during the second half of November 2019. So when I split the deck in half, the energies near the end of November 2019, again, have to do with communication. Some form of communication. This is with the Page of Cups. This is kind words, messages, flowers, gifts, okay? And we saw ourselves communicating, and I should have said it, with someone who had fire in their chart. And now we have the Temperance Angel, which could represent someone who has Sagittarius in their chart. It could also be that there's communication with a younger person who may have water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And that is helping for this Capricorn to heal in some way. It could be that this Capricorn is still going through a healing process, but you're starting to see the rainbow. You're starting to see what you have learned, and now you're opening your heart. Wow. There is a sudden realization and a passionate connection. It could be a sudden realization regarding someone or something you are passionate about. It could be a sudden realization when it comes to someone who has Gemini in their chart with a major arcana, the lover's energy. Yeah, someone is going to go towards Capricorn very quickly or uh, Capricorn's wanting to go towards another. By the end of November 2019, obviously this person is single. So we have the Two of Cups. A beautiful new life. A beautiful partner. A beautiful connection. So either this Capricorn sees this connection as very beautiful, maybe with someone who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This could be a connection with one of your kids even. You know, going excitedly towards them. But I really feel somebody sees a connection as a soulmate connection. Now, we do have the Five of Cups here. This is about crying over spilt milk. Maybe this person is just very clear and decisive and set in their ways. And someone here is worrying that things aren't going to work out. 
So it could be that that's you, Capricorn, wanting to go towards a situation. And Spirit's saying, don't force anything. Come together, enjoy a connection. Be careful. If it is a three-party connection, then you've got something happening quickly. And that could be what this is about. Someone may meet someone very uh, attractive, passionate, kind. And you're going to feel like they're healing you in some way. Again, it could be communication with a youngster, and they are saying something very beautiful as you're kind of waiting and observing the situation, and your heart just opens up. Okay, so to clarify those messages, I'm going to be bringing in the Energy Oracle deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. Two more cards, please. One card representing mid-November 2019. Or I should say one deck and the other deck representing the end of November 2019 for whichever Capricorn I'm reading for during this general reading. Dear Lord, Spirit Guides, and Angels. Yeah, look at that. Ground yourself. Now, Archangel Michael is here. This is some form of blessed communication, circumstance, situation, but there's definitely indecision. And with the five here, things happening quickly. Now, three plus five is eight. And eight is about grounding yourself and thinking about um, old patterns, behaviors of psych and cycles of the past. Or grounding yourself as you're waiting to talk to someone. There may be a fear that someone's coming towards you and they come because maybe they come towards you quickly and unexpectedly or you receive some form of communication that you didn't expect. We do have a little advice here. Ground yourself and use the Queen of Swords energies that you'll be feeling mid-November 2019 Capricorn. For there is a Capricorn who's being offered the full energies to go ahead and check out a new direction but to be clear about your boundaries, you've got synergies, listening to your intuition and watching for the seven of cups, making sure someone can be trusted. Wow. So by the end of November 2019, for this Capricorn, we have strategy. Huh. Ground yourself and Archangel Michael will help you as you are clear with others about your boundaries and not repeating old patterns, behaviors, or cycles or coming into connection with others that remind you of a situation or person that was not healthy in the past. There's a lot of confusion about this when this communication comes towards you. And instantly, that's why I think uh, this Capricorn's jumping into the Nine of Swords is, I don't know if I want to deal with this. Well... Wherever there needs to be healing, for sure, by the end of November 2019, there are kind words, messages, something that really makes you feel really good. <laughs> and a very shocking realization of a passionate connection. Someone I feel coming towards Capricorn by the end of, some of you are going towards it, someone's coming towards you, and then we have the Two of Cups in the middle, and I really feel like a soulmate connection. Now, a soulmate connection can be someone that we need to learn about ourselves through. There's definitely um, advice here with the strategy energies. I feel throughout the whole second half of November 2019, Capricorn is to be clear about your strategy, whether this is business, whether this is personal. I'd like to look a little deeper at that because for some, I do feel like this is a financial offer and you're just being guided to wait for the signs and synchronicities. An offer may come that is rather small with the Page of Wands energies regarding home or business. And Spirit's saying, just ground yourself a little bit longer. Communicate with family for sure. And that's towards the end of November. That makes sense. And just strategize. The journey ahead for this process of strategizing the journey ahead. Again, I said this for Sagittarius. Don't sit in the energies of sorrow. Climb into the energies of what comes after the sorrow and find that. Yeah, so to clarify, I'm bringing in some cards from the Game of Thrones deck, and we've got judgment. So spirit's got your back here. 
Capricorn, they're going to help you to make the highest, best decisions. Some of you indeed are going to be tested by someone who has, there's an unhealthy energy of the devil here. But again, you guys have the Queen of Swords energies to speak your truth about your boundaries, what you're doing day to day, and to very fairly, justly, and kindly cut some out of, someone out of your path uh, if they don't bring you good energy, which I see here it is negative. But here we have the lovers again. Uh, there could be a very attractive person either already in Capricorn's life or they are going to connect with someone. I can't get a date here. Sometime, it's going to be different from, for everybody, of course, during the second half of November. So, wow, you have the Emperor Energies. This could be an Aries with that page of Wands Communication. Passionate connection. Spirit's helping you to make the right decision. Spirit will help you to make your wishes come true, but research this connection a little while longer. For there is some confusion here, even by the end of November 2019, trying to get to the truth of the situation. And for some, there is a shocking realization that someone's respecting your boundaries. Someone's respecting your brilliance. So I do feel like for some of you in the second half of November, for sure, you are getting the communication. If you don't get what you want from a small offer, hang in there and wait for signs for a kind message will come for whichever Capricorn this is. I want to say in the last week of November 2019. Yeah, you've come a long way. Let spirit guide you with signs and synchronicity. Someone may come towards you quickly and unexpectedly again with a fool. Uh, don't be a fool. Speak your truth about what you want. And then, boom, look at that. For someone here, you are stepping into a higher paying position or something new in the area of creativity, finance, career. And you instantly go into the energies of the nine of coins. Beautiful, Capricorn. This is about beautiful surroundings. It's about finding peace, joy, and happiness. So an offer is going to come, but give it some time. Don't make a decision right away, right? Archangel Michael's here. And uh, you're going to be guided, but go towards the good messages, uh, something that makes you feel kind of healed and excited then now about the future. There's going to be a realization here at some point. And be careful with the lover's energy not to give away your mind, body, and soul to another until you have a grounded situation. For some of you could make a wish come true in connection with and to this devil. And... Um, this emperor that comes off kind of harsh and intense sometimes. Stay clear, organized, logical, discipline focused with the eight of pentacles as well on what you are creating for yourself. And you'll eventually be able to get to the truth of the situation. But don't give away your mind, body, and soul if you're new and just communicating with someone in the second half of November 2019. For at some point, you are going to come to a realization. For some, it's going to turn out really good. For others, you know... You're going to see someone and you've been there, done that. You know, these communications of the pages are small. They may not grow into much more than this passionate, kind communication. And for some of you, you're fine with that. And that's why Spirit's saying, be clear about your strategy. Right? So I'm going to bring in a word of prayer to close with from the Archangel Michael deck by Doreen Virtue. Closing message, please, for whichever Capricorn we're reading for during this general reading for the second half of November 2019. Should these messages resonate for any of you and you'd like more information and or you'd like me to read your own personal energies and the energies on into your future that will be available for you to work with. I offer a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this one. Okay, I am still offering the uh, fall winter special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Thank you to so many of you who have come to me and said this is your first reading and then followed up and let me know how these uh, energies help to guide you in your highest best path in the light of your truth with peace, joy and contentment. Just email me for a reading if you'd like one at my email address, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. Closing message, please, Archangel Michael. Be gentle with yourself. Don't feel like you have to make a decision. Don't feel like someone can push their way too much into your journey. You're in control of this journey and all is well. They're saying have confidence. Ground yourself. 
for you are protected at this time. Go forward fearlessly with the strategy in mind, okay, especially if this is financially. Know what you want to present. You're doing well. Be gentle with yourself. Support yourself. Understand that you are in a, in a position of choosing success for yourself. And look at this. Spirit's saying you're on the right path. So what you're going towards will transpire. Just ask Archangel Michael to help you to continue to have confidence and to remain grounded. So thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you who have donated to keep my channel up and running. Take care and...